good evening and welcome my name is Sandra my channel is called Sussex Sandra and welcome how are we all doing are we all doing all right yeah you sure all right that's good that's what I like to hear um, for those of you who follow me on um, YouTube and on social media, Instagram in particular, you may have heard I had a bit of a traumatic experience. Right, so let me just give you a little bit of a summary of what occurred. So the other night, um, get myself ready for bed, and normally my nighttime routine is to um, sort of do all my ablutions, the usual stuff, and then I sort of I light a candle because that's part of my relaxation, and then I normally take out my Kindle and I read for about an hour, and then I blow everything out and settle down and I sleep. So. I did the usual, so lit the candle, reached for my Kindle because my Kindle was on charge and when I went, went to reach for my Kindle, I it slipped from my hands and it dropped to the side of the bed. So I bent down to reach for it and literally the next thing I knew, I heard a sizzle and then I smelt smoke and felt heat. This is all happening within a second and what I didn't realise because I should say, I normally, at night time, my hair is natural at the moment, so normally at night time, I sort of normally twist my hair, um, so sort of flat twist it, or if I'm really lazy, I'll just put my silk bonnet on and then I'd go to bed. For some reason that night, I didn't do it, because I've got silk pillows, well, silk satin pillows. I didn't do any of that, so my hair was out, you know, and so I bent down and the candle caught my hair. So within seconds, my hair fried, literally fried. I had my, my dressing gown, bathrobe on the bed at the time. I literally grabbed it and put my hair out. So this is all 20 seconds, if that. So put my hair out, but the damage was done. The smell, the smoke, the horror, my heart, everything. I was freaking out, absolutely freaking out. There was ash sort of in the air, stink of smoke, hair burning is not a great smell. It was horrendous. Um, next day, washed it, conditioned, and I, I can show you now what the damage is. So I'm wearing a wig now, clearly. I'm gonna show you what the damage I'm going to show you what the damage is. So get ready. Let's take this off. Right. Haven't cut the hair yet, but I'm going to be cutting it straight after this. So I'm going to bring you in close. I haven't combed my hair out, obviously, but I can show you. Right. So there you go. All that burnt. Burnt off, fried, gone, bald patches, everything. I am absolutely devastated 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 um i managed to sort of brush out um all the singe bits because my hair got singed all around because the flames spread far so all around here the flames spread so all here i just i just brushed it all out because it literally just crumbled um so my hair is just a jagged mess at the moment so what I'm going to do now is just cut it all off and I'm going to be wearing wigs for foreseeable future um, and I'm going to be treating my hair so it's I'm taking it as a sign for big chop it's a time of change because there's a lot of change going on in my life right now so this is just another sign for me it's like time for change so I'm going to cut my hair completely down um, which we in the natural hair community call a big chop even though my hair was natural in a way but i'm going to chop it all off and i am just going to look after my hair for the next um six months to a year until my hair sort of gets up gets up again i was going to go to a local barber's and just let them cut and shape it and i thought you know what i'm not even going to bother with that I'm not, I'm not going to waste sort of 10 quid go and do that i'll just get scissors cut it myself and then when it starts to grow catch up i've got my next this is the infuriating bit. I'm sorry, I'm jumping all over the place here. I literally went to the hairdressers last week with my daughter and got my hair um, washed, coloured, deep treated. You know, it's like a hundred quid worth of treatment. That was like last week. And a week later, I burned my hair. <laughs> so 
I, I, I don't know. I really don't know. So yeah, I think what I'm most worried about is how my hair is going to grow back because I know sometimes when your scalp gets traumatized, hair can grow back a little bit different, different texture, even different color. So I'm a bit worried about that. My scalp um, feels fine, it doesn't feel tender or anything like that at all, so it wasn't damaged, thankfully. Um, but <sighs> flipping it, guys, flipping it. So, yeah, I've I bought a couple of wigs from Amazon, sort of cheap wigs, thinking that I would sort of use those to until I, you know, it was a panic buy, so I bought a couple of wigs and they're flipping horrendous. Both of them, I'm returning both of them, so. <laughs> I'll show you the picture on the screen of what the wig, this wig is supposed to look like. This, it's not going to sit properly on my head, but I'll just show you what it's supposed to look like. This is what it came back, came as. I mean, I saw it when it came. Let me pull you out. When it came, I was like, what the, <laughs> is this supposed to be? This looks nothing like the picture of what it was supposed to be. Um, I'm going to put it on. It's not, it's not even big enough for my head. So let me put this on. You can see. It probably does need a little bit of styling because it is human hair and stuff, but it's like it's flipping horrible. It's just way too much of this brassy colour, way too much of it. Let me put it on. It's too small for my head to be honest, but um, there's the back. So I think that's the, yeah, that's the back. Let me put this on so you can see how bad this one looks. This looks horrible. I, mean, I wanted a short, sorry, just ignore my hair. I wanted a short pixie look, this is not it. This is not it at all. And I wanted a bit of colour and highlight, but I wanted just a bit of colour in the front and it to be dark at the back, sort of colour 1B at the back. This is just brassy all over. So I don't know if I can tongue it or do anything to it, but I'm just tempted just to... I'm just thinking if I could... I don't think I can do anything with this, so I think I'm just going to return that one back to Amazon because that's just gross. It wasn't expensive, it was only about £30, I can't remember how much it was, it was very cheap. Um, wigs can be really expensive. So that was £30, Pixie Cut. And then the other one I purchased, very similar style, just um, natural black colour. This one I think I can work with, I just need to sort of tong it and curl it in the right place. But I think I can work with this one to show it to you. right so this one fits better um the curl the natural curl looks awful look very much have i got it the right way around it looks very much like my grandma back in the 70s and 80s um but i think i can tong this to tong it and gel it to make it look better but i think i'll keep this one and work with it i just don't want a big wig to wear during the summer months because i Menopause, I'm just going to get hot. So I'm going to see if I can work with this one a bit. But yeah, so a little bit of trauma going on here, guys. So what I will do, I will obviously, I'll let you know, I'll document my journey, let you know how I'm getting on and, you know, go from there. The products I intend on using, I did post this on, um, on Instagram as well. <laughs> it's weird because yesterday I was talking about this and I was crying. I was literally just crying every time I thought about it. So I'm going to be using sort of like two brands mainly. Um, so there's a there's a a brand called Plant Made. They've got very um, very much naturally made natural ingredients, plant made ingredients. So one of the products is Inches um, Inches Pro. This is like a beard and hair growth oil. So I'm using that. Um, I'm also going to be using the Acton Acre stem cell oil thing, which I've been using for the last few months, which I got from Ipsy. It costs £84 here in the UK, but it was like only sort of $12, $18. I think it's $12 on the Ipsy site. So I've got a bottle upstairs. I've just finished one, got a bottle upstairs and I've got another four bottles coming um, in my May delivery. So I'll be using that because I think that has had a really big effect on sort of my health of my scalp. So Actinacre, 
the plant made products so they've got a shampoo bar which they call Dew and then they've got a conditioning growth shampoo bar um, which I think they call Rain. I'll put pictures of the products up here and then sort of during the week for maintenance I'll be using um, products from a brand called Retro Rich they're based in London and this is their um, I've been using this for ages this is the um, sheep butter empress sheep butter hair butter so i'll be using that i'll continue to use that and they're leaving i'll need to get another one of this because this is nearly finished i think i might have some upstairs actually back up so it's this as well so that's this is their leaving they've got a deep hair conditioning mask as well so i will i'll be using that as well um i'm sure i've got backup of that upstairs so those are the products i intend on using for the next six months to a year because i trust those products i they they've done me good so far i'm just going to continue because my hair was looking healthy which is so this is what's so frustrating about it apart from the shock and the trauma of the whole situation it's just frustrating because i've got my hair to a healthy condition when i went to the hairdressers last week she was actually saying all my new growth is really thick and healthy so in the next six months she was saying my hair is going to be looking thicker and fuller as it starts to grow out so just continue doing what i'm doing and then what do i do a week later I burn my hair. Guys, you can't make it up, can you? So that's where we am. That's what's happened. So, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and sort of cut my hair now. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you later. My glossy box has arrived. It's been with me for a couple of days. I just haven't filmed it because I've just been <laughs> with my hair. So I will be filming that video coming up very soon. All right? All fun and games, isn't it, guys? All fun and games. All right. Take care. I will see you soon. Okay. Bye.